You know, what happened to me and stuff like that. Like, you've been, I've been gone or whatever. And it's not that I had, I mean, I guess you can say I was gone. But I was basically, you know, trying to get myself together. You know, I had a lot of stuff going on or whatever. But, you know, I took some time off from the internet or whatever. And, you know, now I'm back on here enjoying, you know, time or whatever. And so first off, yeah, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. 31. And you know, I got some compliments. People are like, you don't even look like you're 31. You look younger than that. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like I'm 31. I don't feel like I'm 31. I feel a lot older than that. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like I'm 31. You know, I feel a lot older than that. But, you know, with the past couple of days I've been, um, or the past couple of weeks or whatever, Hey, I'm Barbara. I've been, you know, doing a lot better. So I'm, you know, enjoying time. I moved here to Atlanta. You know, I got a co-worker slash friend who came here with me. You know, we having, you know, we've been having fun or whatever. And, you know, the situation that happened just, you know, yesterday or whatever, I went to a concert to see August Alcina or whatever. And, no, no, first of all, I don't even go out by myself. I don't even like going out by myself because, not because I'm afraid that something's going to happen to me. I'm afraid that I may do something to somebody else, you know? I, I'm, I'm more uh, afraid of somebody trying to do something to me and me lashing back out and then I get myself in trouble because I don't, sometimes I get too upset and, I let my emotions get the best of me, so I try to keep myself a distance from certain things. So when I went, so number one, maybe I shouldn't have went to this concert by myself knowing that, you know, something could have happened and I could have, you know, snapped off. But anyway, you know, I get there, I'm having a good time and everything, and some girl, you know, walks by me and touches me or whatever, and I'm like, you know, hey, how you doing? I think nothing of it because... I know a lot of people when I go out, you know, talk to me or whatever, whether it be male or female, you know, and I don't, I don't be like, oh, I don't want this girl touching on me or I, I'm too good to say, hey, I'll speak. And so I said, hey, or whatever. And I was like, you know, are you drunk? And she was like, you know, yeah, a little bit. And that's not my place. She was with this guy. I don't know if they husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, they just hooked up for night. I don't know. That's not my business. I don't care. I was there for me. It's my motherfucking birthday. I don't understand why I got to explain why I was somewhere and why I didn't, why I didn't help the girl out. Oh, she, okay, let me fast forward a little bit more. We was right beside each other. So, you know, if it was me and I was getting raped, first of all, I'm glad it wasn't me in that situation. You know, not to bash her and say that she weak or whatever, but I'm glad it wasn't me because I probably would have killed him. I, I'm, I, I'm so serious. Like, I probably would have killed him. And, you know, and the fact that she's right beside me and, you know, she tapped me a few other times or whatever. And, um, you know, not during that incident, but she just, you know, tapped me throughout the night. And, you know, I look back to see what was going on, you know, like who's touching me or whatever. And, you know... She didn't say anything to me. She didn't say, hey, this guy's this guy's touching me inappropriately or this guy about to rape me or, you know, I'm scared. She didn't say anything. So, like I said, I'm not going to be like, are you okay? I don't know what I don't know what's going on. That's not my business. So, when she didn't say anything to me, I kept my I kept dancing, drinking my little drink because I went there for me to celebrate my birthday and, you know, go out and have fun. Now, the whole little live thing that she had going on, yeah, she was live like the whole night. And apparently, I guess she was live while this was going on. And she was crying and saying, you know, help me and stop and stuff. I didn't hear none of this. Like, it's loud in the club. The damn floor was shaking. <laughs> so, that's how loud it was. Like, the floor was shaking. So, if you want me to open up my ears and try to be like, is somebody screaming for help? Is this? That's not my job. I don't fucking work there. I don't know this girl. So, when I don't, I don't know any of this. So... 
and some girl, I don't even know the girl. She's not even from here, but some girl, I guess, mad because I recorded what I was what I was doing, and I guess she was just like, um, why didn't you stop it? I didn't stop what? Them having sex? Because that's what I thought was going on. I thought they were having sex. So, I mean, I'm not gonna that's I'm not gonna intervene and be like, why y'all having sex in the club? That's not my business. So, you know, my thing is she was like right there beside me so if she felt that she was being violated and you right beside me you had enough energy to hold your phone and be on live you had enough you had enough energy to call out to the people on live and tell them to help you and crying and stuff you could have told me that like i'm physically beside you no one on internet social media no one's going to be able to help you through the phone through the internet through whatever so that's my thing so now people mad at me because I didn't do shit. Do what? What, what? what am I supposed to do? Because basically the thing is, if you if you really needed help, you could have put your phone down, use that same hand to touch on my shoulder and say, hey, you could have used your same mouth that you said help me to say, hey, hey, I, girl, I don't know your name, but can you help me? I, I would have been more than gladly to hit him or do something because I've been in a situation like that and I know how it is. So I would have been like, you know, that's, you know, that's messed up. So, you know, yeah, she don't know me and she don't, you don't have to know anybody to be like, hey, can you help me out? This Somebody's doing something to me, you know, or whatever. He, yeah, he was the one that carried her out. Now, I thought, like I said in my video, he just after her to sleep. That's a good way of putting it. I didn't say, I cursed, but I was like, maybe he just effed her to sleep. And I laughed about it. This shit looked funny because I'm like, why y'all doing this in the club? I don't know what happened. And I didn't think that it was rape because... Like I said, they were, they were there together and stuff was going on and it didn't seem that way. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't understand why I got to be the one that be like, oh, why didn't you help this girl out like, when she was getting raped? The fuck? I don't know that she getting raped. That's, that, that's not for me to come up with the decision or the conclusion that she was getting raped. Because if it was me, first of all, if it was me, I probably wouldn't have tapped nobody been on live. I probably would have been using the last little bit of If I was drugged. I would have been using the last of the bit of energy I had to fight him off or do something because people don't know me and I'm, I'm getting myself together. And that's why I haven't been on here because I came to the realization, you know, maybe I need help in a couple things. And one of those helps is sometimes I let my emotions get the best of me. And the next thing you know, I'll, I'll hey, you it's fair game. If you do something to me, you're getting it back. So my thing is then after that, she didn't ask for any help from me. Now, she could have asked for help from me, but she didn't. She asked for the people on live that for help. So why y'all over here asking me why I ain't do shit? Why y'all ain't do shit? She asked y'all on live to help out. Why didn't y'all come to the damn opera and help her out and, and do whatever? Because I guess she wanted y'all to come and help her at the club. So why didn't y'all show up? If you want to come asking questions, why didn't you come and show up and help her out? So whatever. He take her off. But first, before he take her off, I try to help her up because, hey, Maybe she told me she was drunk. Maybe she got too drunk. She couldn't even walk anymore. So I'm trying to help her get up or whatever. I'm trying to, you know, help stand her up. But, you know, I guess I couldn't help her. I couldn't help stand her up. So he was like, well, I, you know, I got her. I'll, I'll help get her up. And I wasn't going to be like, no, you know, you just raped her because that wasn't in my mind. Now, if I would have known that it was supposedly rape, I would have been like, no, you're not taking her nowhere. Like, let me figure out how I'm going to get her some help. Like, I'm not the type of person that's just going to sit there and let something happen to somebody. I'm right there. Like, come on now. Like, I, well, I'm, I know I'm kind of crazy, but I'm not that damn crazy. Like, I'm not going to just do some stuff like that. But then, you know, they leave and I think nothing of it, you know. And when somebody asked me what happened, that was my opinion. I guess he after the sleep. I don't know. But then she comes back later and start, you know, they had a little twerking contest. I'm not going to lie. I probably would have went into the contest. You know, I like dancing or whatever. I mean, I had on decent clothes. Nothing would have came out, you know, but I didn't go. I didn't go and dance. She came back from wherever she was at, hopped on stage and, you know, twerking in the contest. She had no panties on, you know, doing splits. You know, and that's another thing. You don't know who been on the stage. Everybody been on that stage, walking and stuff. The floor probably dirty. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the video of Vanna White, the young lady that was to the side of Miss Jasmine Island.